All right, everybody, welcome back to Outer Wilds. It is part number eight tonight. And uh, as always, we are really excited to jump back into this. Um, last off, we'd made it to Dark Bramble. And we'd found our uh, fellow Outer Wilds Adventures uh, space astronaut. Uh, I can't think of his name. It begins with an F, doesn't it? Names elude me. Um, but yeah, we found him and um, he. we were trying to get out of him how we can access or how we can get through to the core. Feldspar. Thanks, Citrix. Um, <laughs> uh, we were trying to get out of him how we could get to the core on uh, Giant's Deep. Because once we go below the surface of the water, there's like an electric core. Now, his ship... As you'll remember, it sort of like led us to a jellyfish that looked like it had been like twisted up in one of the brambles from the planet. And I was thinking about it earlier on, and the thought came to me, I wonder if we can, and this this might be like completely bark on the tree, but it's what I'm going to try straight away. I'm going to go to Giant's Deep. We're going to head down below the water. And I'm going to try and see if I can get inside one of the jellyfish things. I don't know if they're hostile. I don't know if they will kill me. So this is just completely off the cuff. I'm going to try it, see how we get on. But the hint was that um, they're protected from um, electricity. So I thought earlier on, well, what if I could almost like fly or drive into one of these jellyfish. I don't, like I said, I don't know how it'll work, but maybe if I fly into it, maybe I can control it or I can just sit in it and it will like move about or something. I don't know. But that is where we're going to start off tonight's expedition. And then um, we need to also um, do some more stuff at Dar Bramble. We need to find the um, third escape pod, see if we can find the vessel, because I believe the vessel is... Um, has crash landed somewhere on Dark Bramble. I'm guessing there's some sort of settlement as well. If there's an escape pod, there's going to be a settlement, so we need to find settlement. There's still quite a lot to uncover on Dark Bramble. We, you know, we've we've not been there with us yesterday. Like I say, uh, Friday night was our first real um, time spent at Dark Bramble, so there's still a lot more to do there. We also then need to start thinking about the Ash Twin and the towers. We haven't been to the Sun Station, but obviously. The core of the Ash Twin is is um, an interesting subject as well because we need to, or we've learned that um, it's potentially supernova proof. The core, um, whether it's permanent or temporary, they were trying to build it and make it supernova proof. Um, it's almost like the No Mine knew that the supernova was going to happen relatively soon, and they were trying to protect against it. But also inside the core on Ash Twin. We also know as well that um, that's where, or I think we know, that's where the masks are or the um, the memory masks that uh, myself and Gabbro and one other person um, are um, activated. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump in to the game. Uh, yeah, let's wait for it to load and then we'll jump right in. Wake up! Alrighty then. Hi, Mr. Quantum Moon. Bye bye, Mr. Quantum Moon. I can't remember if we learned anything new on the ship log last time. We'll probably just check that out before we head off anywhere. Pretty sure, though. Yeah, all our rumors are currently connected. So we don't have anything new to read or to recap on at the moment. Do a reconnection of our... Put on a little makeup. I had to endure that at the weekend. Alright, let's carry on with the embarrassing stories. I had to endure that at the weekend because... Um, my my daughter wanted to uh, paint paint my uh, not paint but put makeup on. So yeah, I had, a, I had a bit of a makeover at the weekend. Got my toenails painted and a bit of makeup, courtesy of my seven-year-old daughter. 
all the things you do. <laughs> Alright, let us go. Right, so we're looking for the cyclone, which spins anti-clockwise. Where is the... Where is the one that spins the wrong way? There you are, I see you. Okay. So, moment of truth. Can we get into one of these jellyfish? Or will it just kill me? And that's not such a bad thing, actually. Maybe if I destroy my electrical systems, maybe that's not such a bad thing. Or maybe there is jellyfish somewhere. It's not. Ha! Huh. Okay, we may, uh, may not have the answer here. I'm not sure where everyone is tonight, Coco, to be honest. Probably all off uh, doing different bits and pieces. All right, well. It looks like. All right, well, I'm going to meditate until the next loop. But it looks like um, that is not the way. We get around these jellyfish. There's got to be have to be a way, I think, to try and suppress their. There must be a way to suppress their electricity, because I, I do believe we have to use the um, jellyfish to get through the electric core there. So. All right, so. Let's head over to Feldspar.
Yeah, well, I think there was also the note, wasn't there? On the um, where we found the jellyfish, there was also a little note. Um, please stay away from the sun. Please stay away from the sun. It's interesting, like that. Even, even though we're just navigating to this this place here, like like we are, um, we're still seeing the duplicate through um, the seed on um, Timber Hearth. Very interesting that. I'm just saying, like when we see the scout, the duplicate on the scout, but. Space be like the start of one of the biggest final frontiers. Quite possibly. Oh yeah, there's a lot of signals for his uh, for Feldspar's camp here. Where's the real camp? Go towards the bright light. be the right direction. Either that or we're just going around in circles. Maybe I should have fired the uh, scout. So, I would need to, yeah, excuse me, I would need to
clear on this way. I was, I need to, I was looking for um, a way to add a marker to the fossil, but can't do that because you have to set the marker on the ship on the map, and I can't access the map at the minute, so... Alright, so we need to just investigate this um, a little bit more, this fossil. Reread or re listen to this recording. They're awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here. It's maybe because it insulates, yeah, insulates from that. Go into the cavity to see if it tastes any better. And we found this, didn't we? Very useful for insulation against electricity. Again, do not eat. I mean... Is it possible to... Is it possible to do something with this one in particular? Like, can I do something with my ship here? Can I even bring my ship here? I suppose is the real question. And if like you, it was possible to bring the ship here and to such on the outside. That's interesting. Yo, Mr. Fab, what's going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. How you doing? It's like which one, which one is which? This place is uh, tray confusing. Well, I found my ship. Just chilling with some portal too, nice. Very nice. Right, so. Um. New question. Won't get out of here. 
literally nothing here to hear, is there, other than... I suppose... We look for... We just follow the light. Feeling we might get lost in. I think we're dead. I think we're dead. Now that's a scary sight. Yo, Miko, what's going on? Damn, buddy. See me. <laughs> oh, Christ. That was, um, that was something. That was something. But, interesting there, the, the frozen jellyfish was not actually inside Dark Bramble. Alright, Mika, no worries. No worries. Sun, please. Let's 
So yeah, um, I, I don't know if we can like somehow. I don't know if we can do something with this jellyfish. With the ship. I don't know if right, we can drive the ship into the jellyfish and like maybe get it coated or something with the insulating material from the jellyfish. Success, guys. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Apologize. Uh, wife's work going off, so I had to go and uh, just sort that out real quick for her. To go to. Uh, right. So, can we get into this? I don't think we can. Looks like it's like in a proper. Yeah, this is like really... I feel like we're being like pulled into Dark Bramble as well, which is um, interesting. The other thing I was going to like potentially mention here and, and see is whether or not it was similar to the... Um, the interloper. Welcome back, Mika. Yeah, I didn't know if it was like similar to the interloper. Whereby I think I can repair it. There we go. Yeah, I, I wonder if it was a bit like the interloper, maybe, because this is obviously all frozen. And... There's no way into here though, is there? That whole segment is just like frozen in a block of ice, so... No, there is a way in here. There is a way. There's no way to get the ship down here, which is, um... So, my thought and my idea about driving the ship in and maybe making the ship Um, electric proof 
is a no no, isn't it? Ah, uh, you're alright, Deathwish in here. You can say what you like tonight. <laughs> I do that with my kids though, to be fair, Mika, all the time. I go, oh, I'm hungry. I was like, oh, hi, hungry. What are you doing today? But classic dad jokes. All right, so. Um, Suppose we could follow the distress beacon, see if we can find the third ship. Slowly, slowly catch him, monkey. Let's go quiet. I'm starting to think, though, with like the uh, with Dark Bramble, maybe. There's shortcuts where each of like the the vines has kind of like twisted away and like spewed out the planet. I'm wondering if like you can get like quick shortcuts to different bits, different places. My stomach hunger hunger some food. <laughs> See the beacon. It's a interesting looking rock. somewhere over here. I found it. Found it. Okay, we have found vessel number three. Not oh, vessel number three, escape pod three. Our escape pod us. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. 
We've held out as long as we can here, but this pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted, and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance of survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or more probably await rescue. Seca is the message is the message finished. The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. Okay, so they bring it out here as long as they could. About the um the anglerfish thing. Uh, Scape on three. Vessel has been m mortally injured. Emergency activated. Wait departure for vessel. Now launch to Cape on three. Multiple collisions have altered pod's trajectory. Significant damage to pod detected. Navigation error. Life support error. Propulsion error. Okay, things did not go well for uh, this ship, clearly. There's no problem. Our equipment is is detecting two distant beacons from the vessel. But it's impossible f for the vessel to be in four, two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other, perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already, Din. The, be the vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone and we'll be lost. We will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the farther, to, farther of the two beacons, Din. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. Did they get out? Because they haven't blown the hatch. Right. Let's follow the lights. I'm guessing though now the um, the distress signal from the vessel is completely depleted, so we we're not going to be able to hear it, are we? There's probably not even any point in us trying to um, trying to look for it. What is going on here, though? Are these all the dead Nomai? Oh dear. They really did not have a good time here, did they? To any who come here searching for us, we follow one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed, yet the opening is too small for, us, for even a single Nomai to fit through it. Our escape pod couldn't flow, have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and still so far is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon, we will be unable to hear it. There is nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. Man, literally like everybody on Vessel 3 just got like completely wiped out. Well, not wiped out, but they just ran out of air. That's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. The whole sort of clan just gone, just like that. I'm thinking we maybe shouldn't go this way. What do you guys think?
the spooky. Hello, Mr. Deathwish. Oh, what the heck is that? I don't want to say it, but they kind of look a bit like... Alright, I think... I feel that's important. To be honest. I don't really want to check it out at the minute. I would agree, Deathwish. Okay. Be careful here. Or else we're going to run out of air. I think we've found the vessel, though. We have. We have found the Nomai's vessel. Oh, there's, um, any of them still alive by the looks of it. We do the tree. Whew. Okay. Found what looks to be control room. because there's no gravity here. We're using so much. I need like re log my controller a minute. It's saying I can lock on stuff, but Okay, that's the warp core. Where we're we warping to. I mean, we're okay because we've got trees around us at the minute. So it doesn't matter that we're having to use... This, though. Quite lucky in that respect that there is tree there are trees here to constantly refill our oxygen. Right, so it's not easy to navigate. I guess I meant to go all the way around on each of these. Yeah, okay. I kind of guess I am meant to go all the way around on these.
So let's go all the way around again. Oh. The help that, like, my position keeps changing as well. Maybe if I just, like, hold... If I hold like the um, the button to match velocity, The loot's about to go, so we're screwed anyway. Um, yeah, this is this is interesting though. I'm making you seasick. Smacked into that poor dead Nomai as well. Alright, so we found some sort of device here then. Oh, hello, there's more up here. Ah, uh, okay. Completely missed all this stuff up here. Alright, well. I guess we'll be, uh, I guess we'll be coming back here. Making our way through the, uh, the scary monsters. And, uh, we'll maybe fly up to the top here and, uh, try and read these bits of text. But yeah, it's not it's not particularly easy to be fair to um, it's not particularly easy to like navigate in there. Really difficult. How you doing, Atom? Hope you're well, buddy. What y'all been up to? Did you have a good weekend. You've missed the uh, DBE, DBEG, DBEJF, and you missed a uh, DBAF as well, Atom. Yeah, good weekend. Awesome sauce. All right. I don't know if I escape crashing the solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the vessel, which badly damaged the surveillance of the escape pod. Three detected two distinct beacons from the vessel as if it were in two locations at once. Uh, yeah, mine were, <laughs> didn't really do anything, to be fair. It was good. Um, was was meant to be doing something, or my wife thought we were doing something on um, 
on Saturday night. I drove out like 20, did a 20 minute drive, got there and then the whole place was shutting up and uh, my wife had misread the tickets and was actually meant to be going this Wednesday, not on um, not on Saturday. But um, yeah, other than that little misunderstanding, uh, didn't really do much at all. Did a bit of gardening and then just did stuff with the kids. So that, yeah, that was pretty much the weekend. Uh, survivors for Cable 3 followed one of two vessel beacons to a small dark bramble seed where they could go no further than Omai. could faintly hear the vessel's beacon from within the seed, but the opening was too small for a single Omai to fit through, much less than the escape pod. The vessel's beacon was dying and would soon be completely gone. If I launch my scout into the seed, I could take photos of an enormous derelict Nomar ship. Found derelict Nomar ship. Vessel deep within dark bramble. The vessel's warp core is long dead. I activated a three-sided pillar in the vessel's bridge that appears to be some sort of input device. There is more to explore here. Indeed there is. And that's where we're going to head back to. I wonder if we can, like with the... Um, like with the jellyfish, although we haven't been able to use the jellyfish as of yet, I wonder if we can find like a bit of a shortcut there if we mark that on there. Maybe we can land somewhere on the outside and find a shortcut into there. So, um, yeah, let's go, 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 go. You go played, uh, played your map, man. I, I don't even know how far I am away from um, your map, to be fair, Atom. I don't know if you've been uh, keeping tabs on the, on the sheep. I've not even, I don't think I've updated the sheep for quite a bit of time, so... Uh, yeah, I apologise for that. I'll try and get things up to date before uh, the next stream on Saturday for Portal. doesn't appear there is a an easy way to get to him into here does it but we're just gonna have to go for it crash there I do not know I don't know if the red light is the best thing to do this seems like it's like the, the deadly place to go. Also kind of seems like it's the, uh, the quickest. Yeah, that's where we've got to be careful. Yeah, this whole thing here is a bit scary as well. To be honest, it looks pretty important, but I don't know what I don't know what to do with it, so I think it's probably best just to leave it be for the time being.
and we have made it back to the vessel. Let's see if we can't um, explore this a little bit more this time. Right, leave the ship there. Right, first things first, let's go and uh, read the text this time, I guess. And straight past the opening to the bridge. Stay still, please. Thank you. Right. This is Eskel's Valley. Vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp, and the vessel is mortally wounded. We will need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside itself. We... We are abandoning our vessel. Any know my clans or space flight capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Okay. Got some communication back here, I think. To any no man clan clans whose vessel can hear this message. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now. So my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we've found that black rock suns are fairly stable, and life in this star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Kanna, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. We will watch from your we will watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived, and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. This is, this is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of Escal. Wait, wasn't Escal this? Was, this was Escal's ship, right? Huh. I remember hearing a story as a child. One day, Escal's vessel seemed to stop responding. The other clans searched and searched but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskel's clan existed, and they, their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors, ans our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hysop? Hi It was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Eskel's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has disappeared this way. 
Hi Sop, I hope you aren't comp comparing Eskal's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. Not yet. We aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence that we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kanna. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potential unstable stars, which is most of them by now. Wow, okay, so... It's interesting. I know when we're like flying around space and we're looking around in space, um, you can see a lot of like stars blowing up in the distance. But this side of the board seems to relate to like almost like a global message between all the Nomai clans that's come through to here. And then over here, they're actually talking about our ship. Or, or sorry, not our ship, but the ship we're on right here. This is because um, this is Escal's ship, isn't it? Yeah. This is Escal's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp, and our vessel is mostly wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. So yeah, this is um, it's quite interesting. Like this happened, and this has been documented here. But then on the other side, they're talking about the disappearance of this vessel, but they're talking at it from like a an ancestor's ancestor's point of view. So there is a lot of time passed between like this vessel and this happening here. And then the other people talking on the other side, which are obviously broadcasting to uh, all the Nomite ships. Which is, um, which is quite mad, really. Quite mad to think. So, we've got done that. Now, we don't really know what this thing is all about, though, do we? So we've got some sort of like warp core. So if this is this is the warp core, right? Which we can insert into here. But it looks like the warp core is completely dead. Nothing else to see down here, actually. There is. Apologise for anybody who's like suffers from any form of motion sickness here. I'm trying my best to uh, keep things as still as possible. Alright, so we've got a recording here. I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. So this is obviously talking about the eye, I think. This is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone, prepare to warp immediately. Well, this is what brought them to the solar system, maybe. Let's go wait. I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we are going? We can send the message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear... May disappear just as quickly and we can't lose a discovery this incredible focus on preparing for the warp instead i understand anona anona is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates the warp core is powered but this will be a significant jump afterwards we'll need time to recharge the core that shouldn't create a problem provided we arrive to, at or near the signal's source everyone we're ready to warp So, I wonder if no. Okay, I wondered if there was. Um, I wondered if what did I wonder? I wondered if like we could get a signal there from like that sun. I think. <laughs> All right, so we don't we don't know what to do here, so to speak. 
obviously there's some patterns somewhere which we can probably enter here. Congratulations, Mika. Man, this is this is like so difficult to navigate. Okay, so Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We need to We need to get a new warp core and potentially we might be able to warp to where the Nomai said in that hmm, well, we might be able to walk to where the Nomai suggested or, or were talking about on the board on this side however saying that obviously the vessel is pretty badly damaged Sorry, dude. Is there anywhere else that's not accessible? Or the vessel? is going for the high score. Oh jeez. Guess that's my own fault for uh not jumping in the ship. Refueling, but we're we're good. We're good. These look like the escape pods. Maybe there was more than three escape pods on the uh, the vessel. Or only three of them got away, perhaps. Possibly. What's this? like a big a 
big dime. All right, so I don't think I don't think at the minute. Wait for that to be clipped again. I don't think. Um, I don't think that there's anything else we can do at the vessel at the minute. It seems like we need to find some sort of If us still here coming in from the Nomar vessels, remain no more clan to regroup in response to the impeding death of the universe. Found a recording from the original signal of the Nomar encountered from the eye of the universe. No more worried that the signal would disappear so they walked before they could tell another clan where they were going. Okay. So still not found that because See, I get the fact that I can, and, and like I thought, the jellyfish are the key to getting in the core. So we can find the probe tracking module. But I don't know how we can use, I don't know how we use the, um, how we use the jellyfish to protect ourselves. back to this like really sinister creepy bit wait what surely that's not going to do that every time No. So it doesn't appear to be like any quantum things going on here. Spookiest bit. What is this? Is this just the core of whatever this place is?
it doesn't look like it's anything, if I'm honest. It doesn't look like anything we can use anyway. This sort of looks like the place where you come to get lost as well. We're dead. So that Mr. Fab, thanks for hanging buddy, appreciate it. Have a good day. Just eat me already. Eat me already. Just eat me already, Christ almighty. Oh, I'll just get another lucky escape knock. You know, that works too. <laughs> whole ship is a little bit um, worse for wear though, let's be honest. At the end of the loop anyway. Alright, so, um, what did we learn there? Well, we learned about the, uh, that there are no my existing in other locations. And we've also learned that, um, just drive straight towards the sun. Um, We also learnt that the Nomai have kind of like, the Nomai have identified that there are many, many stars that are blowing up in the universe. I want to put a band-aid on the ship. I think it might be a bit too late for that. But yeah, without knowing, without knowing, without knowing, like those, I assume there's some code somewhere which will tell us what to enter on the ship. The warp core is broken, so can we get into the warp core? Possibly. So, I kind of feel like we need to tackle, um, it's got to be somewhere where we can use the jellyfish though, has to be somewhere to use the jellyfish. To get below in Giants Deep. But Giants Deep, we've got the Ash Twin Project. 
we also need to kind of have a look at. Because we need... To, we desperately, desperately, desperately need to... Um, check out these towers. I land on this tower. Sort of. Alright, so we're just going to play the waiting game for a bit, I think. We've got to wait for some of this sand to disperse. Is we should probably stay on the ship and we should probably just keep like flying around in low orbit of this planet just so we can like see it all unfolding if it's possible no the minute I try and get in there it just pushes me straight out so I just wonder if it was possible to like fly, fly through that area there I've got something uncovering here. ship Time's passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and the progressing with the Sun Station plans? 
Because make my assessment is that our plans will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Uh, Pi, you know I didn't find that funny. I'm curious, Remy. Thinks I, I'm a gas, and I don't recall requesting that. You monitor the conversation, idiot. Um, I think we've read this before, haven't we? Yeah. We've read that before. there at the minute. I think we tried to go around there before, didn't we? And um, yeah, we failed miserably. So up there, there is a way. There is a way to... for this pass and then we'll head back and see what's on this scroll I think at the minute it's just here is just going to be more about like just information gathering it's pretty much all we can really hope for and do at the moment here we don't know enough about what's going on and using the towers and bits and pieces Resident from the Hangar City, we are planning the Ashtwin project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twins Equator. We are planning the Ashtwin project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twins Equator. I became lost in Ember Twin, my gratitude that Remy found me, but the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise, otherwise immensely clever Conoy would lose his own head if it weren't or anatomically impossible. So this looks like it's broken. So we can't use this warp tower. We could have just brought the scroll down to here. See, the problem is I don't know where... I'm not sure what each, which each of these towers represents at the minute. Don't actually know. I'm 
Likewise, I don't really know how much further this is going to go down, although it looks like we're going to be uncovering something momentarily if we just hang it out for a little bit longer. It looks like there's a door here. Well, if you ever wanted to know how to get yeeted from one of the twins to the other, that's how you do it. In other, in other words, news though, we uh, did manage to get our uh, ship back. Oh, this is still... This is still going down. This goes down further. It's reminiscent though of the, uh, the energy lab, isn't it? moment ago. This is our first delivery area. One warp core fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing the core's sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. My gratitude is Chloe. With this, the Astrium project is underway. Uh, I confess my deep curious about what you and Pogue found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit sometime to learn more? Um, White Hole Station is a model, of, model for the towers being built on the Astrium project, so a visit to the station will be useful. I suppose more precisely, I'd like you to visit the White Hole Station with you, Chloe. So using this scroll wall to flirt with my sister. Okay, we've seen that bit. I remember seeing that about the flirting. Yeah, I remember reading all that. Okay. Now I remember being here because I remember seeing the two dead nomies there. Stay here a moment. So I'm not sure where this one takes us. I'm completely honest. I'm not sure where any of these towers are. I know each of the towers takes you to a specific location. Um, what does it take me to Brittle Hollow? Won't take me anywhere. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, this is Giant's Deep. Okay, so this one's Giant's Deep. The one I freaking hate because of, um... It's so freaking long. No, it doesn't take so long. That's the wrong thing to say. It's, um... turn back here. I don't like it because um, the gravity is like ridiculously strong. Ow. Right, so these two things here are the north and south pole. Surely there, there has to be... Is there not a way into this tower from below? Yeah, so there's got to be a way into it. From down below. Huh. It looks like here, though, something is um, starting to emerge from here. At least I thought there was. Looking angry. Doesn't look like much more that um, the Ember Twin can actually take much more sand, I'll be honest. Um, I, to be fair, Mika, I don't think you've really missed too much this stream. I don't feel like I've made a lot of progress. If I'm completely honest, we were, we found, we have found like the last of the escape pods for the three escape pods. And we found like the, um, the Nomai's uh, crash ship as well. Um, we did do an experiment whereby we were trying to, we we're trying to find... Yeah, we were trying to find a um, a way to use the jellyfish to insulate our ships so that we can go and investigate one of the underground cores, but um, not been able to kind of find a way or, or any sort of references to how we do that at the moment. Um, so we're just sort of trying to have a look at what's going on here. 
Although we're about to die because we're about to run out of oxygen, which isn't great. This just takes us all the way back up to the top. Oh, I guess it does, yeah. Well, that was highly disappointing. I need to go back there, but I think what we'll do is we'll sleep for we'll sleep for 10 to 15 minutes first and then head to head there once everything's a bit more accessible rather than as kind of waiting for everything to there, waiting there for everything to kind of become available we fast forward slightly say so fast forward the time doesn't go um that fast to be fair there has to be something that we can find on the ash twin right now so there's there's there's, there's three or four lines of inquiry we've got going on at the minute one is with the um one is with the jellyfish so we need to be able to use the jellyfish somehow to be able to get into the core on Giant's Deep to get past the electric. The second is the Black Hole Forge. I still haven't worked out how to get to the top of the Hanging City to be able to like look at the Black Hole Forge or do anything with that. So we've got that line of choir as well. There is the, the Astrium project which we're looking at now just to see if there's anything here. I'm sure there's probably going to be some bits of information that we yet to pick up or we can at least try to find like the core or something. So there's that. Then there is the uh, sun station. We haven't been to the sun station yet, which I believe we get to from somewhere on the ash project. So we got that to look at. And then finally, just off the top of my head, there's also the, um, the satellite thing. We've still not seen all of the satellite um bits and pieces whether or not we need to see the satellites i don't know so the one at 40 degrees 137 248 and 350 degrees um yeah we need to look at all of those so and now let's head back to the ash twin Something is over here, so the ash train has got to be over here somewhere as well. There it is. As you can see, just allowing that time to sort of go for a start has meant that um, we don't have to quite wait as long. We could have waited a bit longer though. So each of the towers is meant to represent where it could walk to. So to me, that one there, just to the right, where the the the, world, the sand's coming up to, that looks like the sun tower. Don't know about that one. Or that one. I'm not really sure about any of the other ones. Alright, so the ship is well away here from the um, sand. So we're not going to lose the ship at least, so we've got a way back to get oxygen. If all else fails. We 
just need to stay away from there ourselves. Right, let's take a look here. Okay, we've been in here. No, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Reverse thrusters. I went in too hot. Which one this is? Unless those like landing symbols there um, have different things. I think that might be Giants Deep, actually. Right, so there's more down the bottom here, it seems. There's going to be another door access from that one. This one has to be... Sun one. The problem is here, though. Don't know. We don't know how we access this one at the minute, because... There is cacti in the way. Let's refuel a minute. Alright, well, let's see where this one goes. So, I think the first one is the Sun Station. Um, let's see where number two takes us. Once the, uh, once the sand gets round, of course. Should be any moment now. Okay, so this one just takes us back to um, the Ember Twin. Okay.
good thing though about this rock is I can kind of shortcut a little bit. Says. Seems to be still on the other side here, though. Yeah, I need to be stood above here, so I'm not in the right place at all. Don't have access to the sun station. All right, so. We think Sun Station and then Brittle Hollow. Make a note of these as we go. Sun Station. Brittle Hollow. This is Timber Hearth. So I would assume I am going to assume then that we go to there, Timberhurst. The next one I guess will be Brittle Hollow. And then I'll be Giants Deep, right? So I think I think this one that one will be brittle hollow. I, I think I can only assume at least that it goes in order. That makes sense. And then there isn't one for Giant Bramble. I mean, Dark Bramble. Wow. Um... Maybe I went backwards. Maybe I didn't go to the right station. Wait a minute. Hold on. That was that that wasn't Brittle Hollow. That was Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, revelation. 
I just realized where that took me. So I didn't get it wasn't brutal ho there, that's the Ember Twin. Right, so Brittle Hollow, and I think, looking at that, that took me to the, um, I'm sure that took me to the, um, the inside of the Hanging City, where I wanted to get to for the, um, The um the core, the, the black hole forge. I am sure I was inside. I wasn't outside, I was inside. Surrounded by ice. I think. I hope. So that will be I just happened to see it was all surrounded by ice. Now I know, I know from when I looked, when I've been looking at the, um, when I've been looking at it before, there's no, no sand yet, it's interesting. Uh, when I've looked at it before, there is a warp platform there. I've just never known how to get to it. And this would make perfect sense, I guess. Can I please land on this platform? Really does not want to land on this platform. Should probably go into landing mode, but... What 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 is even happening here? I just want to land here. Oh, I know what's happening. Okay, I know what's happening. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's fine. Yeah. It's the gravity lift indeed. Okay, so we need to wait for some of these towers to start appearing. We need to really find the sun tower first, which is easily recognizable. It's got like a load of diamonds, well, like a sun, I guess, pattern on top of it. And then we need to go backwards. So against the flow of the sand, we need to go back to, I believe. Too close, though. There's a lot of sand here before you actually uh, get any of these towers showing up, isn't there? Okay. 
Okay, this is the Sun Tower. That's going to be too far, isn't it? Maybe I should just follow the Sun Tower. Alright Mika, no worries. Thanks for hanging buddy. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your night and uh, we'll catch you hopefully next time buddy. Take care of yourself. Let's go and uh, refuel and all that jazz. Interestingly as well, there's also got to be a way There's also got to be a way to get inside that sun one So this one I think this one is the that one's Timber Hearth. Which means... Something vaguely in this direction. Will be the one that we're really after. Yeah, you see the fact that like the sun station one is blocked off here with these this Yeah, you see, that's gone to the sun station. But my my argument here is... Is there a way to get past these? Because we're going to need to get past there. if we want to stand at any chance of getting to the sun station. So, it's a bit of a conundrum. Like rotating on its own. A bit weird. Yeah, we need to be able to get past these um, cacti. So 
So this one. This one right here should be Giants Deep. Which means this one. This is the one we're interested in. This one should be uh, Brittle Hollow. All right, death wish time. All right, let me let me give you a hint. Zytrix, um The last time Deathwish did this, he had forty-eight thousand seven hundred and fifty-eight airboats. Yes. This is the Black Hole Forge. This is the one we couldn't get to. Progress. All right, I'm just going to pause real quickly. All right, so. Black Hole Forge is 30 meters to the left. To the left, to the left. It's the exit to the surface. Okay, this is the... That's the broken thing right there. Yes, that's where everything's broken. Black Hole Forge is 40 meters north. So it must be over here. Now hopefully from here we can... Um, we can um, call the Black Hole Forge up. If not, what we'll have to do is we'll have to do that first, then go to the Ash Twin at a later date. A tablet somewhere. Bush near, near the boarding area while the fo black hole forge is in operation. Okay, so we're going to need to. We're going to need to um, change that first. We're going to need to change. Come here. Activate the black hole forge controls. And then head to the Ash Twin. To warp to here. And then we will then be able to do what we need to do. Alright, let's see if we've actually got enough time to do that on this loop, shall we? Is it Brittle Hollow? Yes, the Hanging City. What? 49? Really? That low? Oh. I got played. I got played. You've only, like, gone up about, like, 
1,200 points. That's madness. Right, we are looking for the gravity cannon. Wasn't the shortcut somewhere around here? There's a city look down there. For sure the shortcut was over here somewhere. Near the cannon. Oh, that's it. It's in the ice in the ice, isn't it? That's it. I think it's right about there. I'll go pretty quickly here because I don't know how much time we've got left. Excellent. Winning an adult game. Sounds a bit, um, sounds interesting, Deathwish. Define adult game. Where's the sun? Have I missed the Ash Twin? Oh, here they are. Why well, that's not Ash Twin, that's Twin Behalf. There it is, over there. That's nice, Dark Ramble. Giant Steep. There it is. Ah. Uh. I think I am running out of time to be able to do this.
some uh, proper trick shots there. Yeah, we're out of time. Damn it! Alright, well... Can I just get out of my frickin' ship, please? Alright, so... We need to go to... Time are we at? Alright, we've got time for another loop. We need to go to um, Brittle High first, move the Black Hole Forge, come back to here, use the warp platform to. Use the warp platform to then go back to Brittle Hollow, where the. Um, Where the uh, we can then walk through a hollow, the black hole forge will be at the top, and then we can check out what's inside the black hole forge. And then I think that'll probably be a decent place to uh, to end tonight. I'm trying to get a bit more towards the the bottom of this black hole forge. Has kind of like played on me for a long while as to how we we got to it, and I'm just glad that we were sort of while we was exploring those towers, I happened to notice that we were inside, where we needed to be this whole time. So, all right, so brittle hollow, here we go. Let you go. There you are. And away we go. out here for There's obviously the ship not being there when we come back because it's been struck by a freaking meteor The only other thing I didn't see as well while was um, when we was on the ceiling was like where the whether or not there was a tablet there for because it looks like there is an area to um, place the projection stones. I didn't see one lying around, which is interesting. So, 
looking at the coordinates on the HUD, the ship is still there. You can use your thrusters from your suit. Actually, uh, inside here, which is uh, pretty mad. <laughs> to be fair, I. I don't know who's still here, Deathwish. I think it's just like you, me, Atom, and uh, Zytrix. I think everybody else has uh, given up the ghost tonight. time here. I might as well just go and park up over here though, don't we? I suppose. Mate, when I started the stream, no word of a lie, there was like 12 bots. I think there probably, there's probably still that many, if not more, in the stream. Just lurking on the channel. Ah, you play Final Fantasy XIV, do you, Zytrix? Partial to a bit of Final Fantasy. Just no, I've never played the. Uh, I never played uh, 14. I've never really played any like online MMOs before. So quite like the. Um, I quite like the the single player kind of ones. So Final Fantasy 7 being one of my all time favourites. Okay. So this one leads back to. Sun station over there. Play the waiting chasing game. I suppose in hindsight I didn't really need to rush as quickly as I did.
Who's this meal? Did the, um... Looks like my... Helmet just sort of, like, get a bit more rounded. I know that probably doesn't make much sense, but, like, in the corners, it's like a bit of a vignette. It should just... I don't know, it didn't seem to be there before. It's almost just like it's just appeared. It was quite interesting here. Never really noticed before. There's two, isn't there, here? There's... Oh, must be midnight. There's um, SQL, as always. Thank you very much. Appreciate that distraction. Um, there's, there's two different things there. I wonder if they take to the same places. We'll have to... I don't know if that one works, though. That one looks a bit broken. tower around about here somewhere. Yes, this is the one we want. This is the one we want. You want me to enter tonight? Okay. I'll enter. I'll enter. So, what we're waiting. So, uh, we'll not do it on a timer. Let's just, uh, just open it up now. There you go. Oh, I can't open, I can't enter. Um, I enter here anyway. No, I can. As long as I enter through the bot, then I can enter. Uh, I think I spelled some... Oh. Games, not game. That's probably why. Alright, so we just need to wait now to get into here. Nothing little copy-paste won't sort out. Alright, while that comes back, let's go back to the ship quickly. Refuel. Let me in, let me in. I don't think we'll get around it this time, so, um, yeah. Just to wait. I don't think there'll be enough uncovered to teleport us this time around. Might be, might get lucky. Just trying to see bits of the floor here, so. You never know. Oh, I think we will. I think we'll be good. Well, there we go. Already been teleported even before the sun gets there. That's weird. See, I, I thought... Sorry, I thought with that, it was when the sand... When the, the middle bit of the sand sort of intersects. But I don't think it is, actually. I think it's um, where... Or it seems to be where 
the planet intersects with. Don't want to go that way. Where the planet intersects with the um, Doofy Watts, isn't it? So that takes us to the other side, doesn't it? I don't want to go there just yet. I really need to explore this forge. That takes us to the warp pad on the the surface. Okay. We have a mask. The ash trim projection stone, so we can use that in a minute. Regarding the warp towers and ash twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the centre of the astral body in which it is tuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, the tower's base were to shift even slightly, the tower might no longer align with the astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as more accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, provided the next Nomai is not poke. We don't need the alignment angle to be exact, it only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body centre. Of note, this gives us a slightly larger warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. As such, any Nomai stepping into the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental teletransportation. Sorry, transportation, not teleportation. Transportation. Alright, so we've got another statue here. It's not activated. I'm sure what this I want to don't know I don't know what this is. This is maybe that's uh, moving too fast. I wonder if that was a way to Oh Oh I wonder I don't know. I thought maybe that had something to do with um, Hollow's Lantern. I literally got to there, that light went off, and then there was an explosion in the background, but I don't know. Maybe not. Alright, where am I taking this first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so those deliveries will be a greater pain in your cervical spine. The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver. Each receiver's location. Ask Yarrow, he is familiar with them. All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. And gratitude in that case, Poke. Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to up to route and help him deliver the first core to Ashtrin. Just make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course you are. I think that's the uh, that's the two that are like in a relationship, right? I think. Of note, Yarrow believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower's designs, namely that one of the warp towers on Ashtrin will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Is that the um, is that the one with the two towers? I think. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the centre of its corresponding astral blood body? That isn't an unreasonable belief, given the receiver does have to be located on the relevant astral body. I seem to recall that your understanding of warp technology. Seem to recall that was your understanding of what technology at first. 
No, Yarrow understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realise the Hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a, shard, a shared, sorry, shared alignment point in between them. Alright, so... Hmm. I don't know. Um, I don't know what that's saying. Telling me. What that's telling me. I'll take the stone in a minute. We'll head over and. Um, I think I need to read it again and. Um, properly digest it. I, I think that is related to Hollow's Lantern, you know, that thing there. Okay. Not like there's much more here to... I've good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of the Astrin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Astrin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. Okay. Right, so this takes us back to here, where we have the three masks. Wherever they might be in the... Oh, man, look. What? Uh... Kind of look a little bit weird. I'm not gonna lie. That was a bit freaky. All right. So, um, I think we'll head back. And I just need to go and have another look at the ship. I need to really take in, take on board what I just read there at the um, at the forge. really happy that we finally made it to the forge all right and those have um, cleared up now so the black hole forge warp tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver rather a warp tower always aligns to the central of the astral body the warp receiver must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body the hourglass glass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. I guess that's the funnel, maybe, of sand that goes between them. All of the warp towers being constructed on Ash Twin, while the six warp all of the Ash warp towers were being constructed on Ash Twin, while the six warp receivers were being constructed at different locations. Poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. So, can we use that warp core for... I'm not going to say the vessel, because I think the vessel is completely destroyed. But could we use the warp core to then warp from a location somewhere to that safe um, solar system that we discovered earlier on when we was reading bits and pieces. So, diagrams... Just 
the piston can't say that word the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body warp tower alignment angles are not exact they only need to be within five degrees of the astral body center the results in slightly larger warp windows this results in slightly larger warp windows that last roughly several seconds Anyone stepping into the warp platform during the activation window will be immediately well. Okay, so that that's telling us that was telling us the warp. That's the window, isn't it? Basically, that's the window of opportunity where we can then warp. I assume to the black hole on that one. I guess. And then we just got there. An advanced war call was approved for the installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. Alrighty then. So, we still don't know though. Still no wiser in relation to getting into here, are we? So there must be. I'd say there must be, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But is is there a way? Is there a way that I can get past the cactus? Oh, excuse me. Because the door through to there is completely and utterly busted. So we're not going to be able to... We're not going to be able to get into there. Using the door. Sun is uh, pretty hot and tasty. It's going to last much longer either looking at that. Like it's ready to pop. There's the hum. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know. This is, um... I suppose in a way we've got rid of one of the options, at least. We... We need to work out how to get into that sun tower, I think. That's like the crucial thing. Get to the sun station, see what we can do there. We also need to work out what we're going to do about the jellyfish thing. It's about understanding and working out the jellyfish thing. We're not going to be able to... Um, Get into the core and finish off that segment where the probe landed. I just wonder if we need to like go back to um, if we need to go back to Giant's Deep, mm -hmm. and we need to like study the jellyfish a bit more. Maybe there's one that's not electrified, and as it's going down, we can maybe use it to. Um, See, like, down a bit further. I'm not sure. Um, so I did have a bit of a... I did have some thought about it um, in between episodes, and I thought, you know, maybe we could just drive into Jellyfish and it would be all right and we'd be able to sink down, but that clearly wasn't the case. So, um, yeah, I'll have to go back to the drawing board for a little bit more to see if we can come up with uh, some ideas for that tomorrow but uh, guys that's going to be the end on the youtube side of things thank you very much for watching guys appreciate the support as always and uh, make sure you ha check out the uh, hang around or i don't know i'm sorry so make sure you uh, keep your eyes peeled for episode number nine which will be out tomorrow hopefully but until then guys thank you very much for watching i've been awesome stay safe and until next time happy gaming goodbye